CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam Questions 81 through 85 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 81. A network administrator is installing fiber optic cabling to connect a new server rack to the main distribution frame. Which of the following connector types is most commonly used to terminate fiber connections in this setup? The answer is D. SC. SC, or subscriber connector, is a widely used fiber optic connector recognized for its square design and push pull locking mechanism, which ensures a secure and stable connection. It is primarily used in high speed data networks, including enterprise environments, data centers, and telecommunications infrastructure. SC connectors are designed to handle high bandwidth and long distance transmissions, making them a preferred choice for both single mode and multi mode fiber installations. Question 82. A network administrator is configuring a trunk link between two layer two switches. The switches must support traffic from multiple VLANs while maintaining network segmentation. Which of the following should be enabled to achieve this? The answer is B. 802.1Q tagging. 802.1Q tagging allows multiple VLANs to traverse a single network link by inserting a VLAN tag into Ethernet frames. This enables layer 2 switches to distinguish traffic from different VLANs while using the same physical connection. Without this form of tagging, switches would not be able to separate network traffic, leading to potential communication issues between different VLANs. Implementing 802.1Q tagging ensures that data remains properly segmented and routed within a multi-VLAN environment. Question 83. Which of the following provides a private, dedicated connection to a cloud service provider, potentially bypassing the public internet and offering lower latency? The answer is A. Direct Connect. Direct Connect is a dedicated private network connection between an organization's on-premises infrastructure and a cloud provider. This solution improves performance by reducing latency and offering consistent bandwidth, making it ideal for enterprises that need reliable, high-speed access to cloud resources. However, additional security measures, such as an encrypted overlay, may be needed if data confidentiality is a concern. Question 84. Which of the following networking devices can function at multiple layers of the OSI model depending on its configuration and capabilities? The answer is C. Switch. A layer 3 switch is capable of operating at both the data link layer, layer 2, and the network layer, layer 3, of the OSI model. While traditional switches function solely at layer 2 by forwarding frames based on MAC addresses, layer 3 switches incorporate routing functionality, allowing them to forward packets based on IP addresses. This makes them an essential component in high-performance networks, enabling VLAN routing and reducing the need for dedicated routers in certain scenarios. Question 85. A network administrator wants to ensure that guest users acknowledge the acceptable use policy before gaining internet access. Which of the following methods would best enforce this requirement? The answer is C. Captive portal. A captive portal is the most effective method for ensuring that users acknowledge and agree to the acceptable use policy before accessing a guest network. When a user connects, they are redirected to a web page where they must review and agree to the policy before gaining network access. This is commonly used in public Wi-Fi environments such as hotels, airports, and corporate guest networks to enforce security policies and prevent unauthorized use. For those of you that are keeping track, this is yet another topic duplicate. If you see a topic appear more than once in this practice question video series, it is probably a good idea to know the topic inside and out as it has a higher probability of appearing when you take your official CompTIA certification exam. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching.
Subscribe for more great content.